Mr. Speaker, I rise to strongly encourage our Senate friends across the hall to oppose this omnibus spending bill and get back to regular order, allow Congress to debate this massive spending bill and to offer amendments on the floor the way the Founding Fathers designed this body. We just had an election, Mr. Speaker, and the voters overwhelmingly said that the biggest issue to them was inflation. We have inflation because this body has spent too much money. But apparently this body did not get the message from the voters. I'm going to have the honor of being the chairman of the House Oversight Committee in a few weeks. One of the priorities of this committee will be to eliminate waste, fraud, abuse, and mismanagement in the federal government. We have agencies like the NIH, the CDC, the FBI, the FDA, the IRS, and the list goes on and on and on that cannot account. Good afternoon, friends. Happy December 26 to all of you. Well, friends, I cannot believe that this is happening. There's a new stimulus update, and we may see more stimulus money going out to the American people in 2023. New stimulus programs have been proposed to prevent families from slipping into poverty as the United States enters a recession. My friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to hear about all of these details. Also, I will be giving away a Walmart gift card every day this month. If you would like to enter the giveaways, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these daily giveaways. Millions of Americans have been waiting for stimulus checks from our federal government. There are several bills that have been put forward in Congress in order to receive additional federal stimulus funds Legislation would need bipartisan support. And so far, there are many lawmakers that are trying to move forward with more help for parents. The expanded child tax credit provided no strings attached cash payments to 39 million families in 2021 and 2022, lifting millions of kids over the poverty line. The expanded child tax credit was part of President Biden's American Rescue Plan which was passed in spring of 2021. The policy beefed up an existing tax credit paid to the parents of dependent children. Under the new provision, families receive $3,600 a year for each child under the age of five, and then $3,000 for each child ages five to 17. It also paid out that money in installments, and it made the credit fully refundable, meaning that families that didn't owe any federal income tax, still received the full amount. Democratic Senator Michael Benet has called for an extension of the expanded child tax credit. In a speech on the Senate floor, Democratic Senator Michael Benet has called for an extension of the expanded child tax credit to help families cover rising costs. There have also been over 100 economists that have sent Congress a letter stating that the expanded child tax credit is one of the most easiest, most effective, and direct tools currently at government's disposal to help families deal with the impact of inflation on family budgets. The great news is that millions of Americans may still receive stimulus payments in 2023. A large number of states are continuing to deliver financial relief for the residents, and this trend will continue into next year. Eligible Idaho residents will receive payments equal to the greater of 10% of the amount reported on their 2020 tax returns, or either $300 or $600 for single or joint filers. According to Idaho state officials, checks will continue to go out next year. California taxpayers started receiving stimulus checks this past October. As of December 9th, more than 6.9 million direct deposits have been issued and 6.8 million debit cards has been sent out. But millions of California residents are still waiting for the one-time payout to finish sending out funds until sometime January. Payments of up to $1,500 for joint filers 
or $750 for single tax filers, will be sent out to Colorado residents who did not receive them due to a delayed submission of their tax returns. The remaining payments are expected to be sent out by January 31st, 2023. So friends, according to ABC News, holiday sales rose this year as American spending remained resilient during the critical shopping season, despite increasing prices on everything from food, energy, and rent. Holiday sales rose 7.6%, a slower pace than the 8.5% increase from a year earlier. When shoppers began spending the money they had saved during the early part of the crisis, and new data shows that the U.S. sales between November 1st and December 24th, which is a period that is critical for retailers, were fueled by spending at restaurants and on clothing. By category, clothing rose 4.4%, while jewelry and electronics dipped roughly 5%. Online sales jumped 10.6% from one year ago, and in-person spending rose 6.8%. Department stores registered a modest 1% increase over 2021. Some of the increase reflected the impact of higher prices across the board. Consumer spending accounts for nearly 70% of U.S. economic activity. And Americans have remained resilient ever since inflation first spiked almost 18 months ago. But inflation has retreated from the four-decade high that had reached this summer, but it's still sapping the spending power of consumers. Prices rose 7.1% in November from one year ago, down from a peak of 9.1% in June. While people of all ages are struggling, those over 65 often have an even harder time because they usually live on a fixed income, unable to increase their paychecks with overtime or bonuses. The problem will become more widespread in the coming years as more baby boomers who began turning 65 in 2011 Join the ranks of the retired. So friends, please comment below how inflation has affected you and your family this past holiday season. Well, my amazing and most wonderful best friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Monday afternoon. Thank you, thank you so much, friends, for joining me here this holiday season. I want you all to know that I greatly appreciate every single one of you who are joining me every day and watching the new videos that I post. The three winners of yesterday's Walmart gift card giveaway is Ryan Ridley, Sharon Gortman, and Tina Hawley. Congratulations, my friends. To claim your gift card, please check your notifications page and send me a message. Or you can message me on my Facebook page. Remember, friends, I'll be announcing a new winner in a video later today. So do make sure you enter the daily giveaways by clicking and liking several of my videos. And also, comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these daily giveaways. 